Alternator Man here. Today I want to talk to you about the Ford 6G series alternator. Um, 99 and above on Ford's Power Stroke Diesel. The only option that you had was the this 110 amp small case 6G alternator. Um, starting in 1999, the small case uh, 110 amp is a real small alternator. It doesn't do well at idle. It's not very reliable, if, especially if you put it under any sort of demand. We came up with a solution by upgrading to the large case 6G series. And we put the same compatible voltage regulator in it as the small case. Uh, so this is a large case upgrade. Uh, there is an issue with this large case upgrade. Even though the mounting bolts are the same, the cradle that the alternator sits in is more designed for the small case unit. So it's shallow through here when you go to bolt the alternator down. And there is some issue with that if you don't watch out what you're doing. And what we've done, uh, when we deliver the alternator, we supply you with these instructions. These instructions talk about the potential interference uh, with this alternator in the cradle. The alternator sits in the cradle here, and it can potentially hit right in the center point. So you have to look out. So what you want to do is actually uh, you use a copy of this instruction. If you want to fold the instruction in half long ways, and then what you do is you put the instruction underneath the center of the alternator. Basically, here's your cradle. Here's your here's your alternator cradle right here on your vehicle, and you'd set that piece of paper right here in the center, and then push down on the alternator uh, to make sure sure you have plenty of clearance under here. And basically, what it says to do in this instruction is that you put this piece of paper under the center of the alternator, push down on your alternator, and if you can pull the paper out easily, then there's enough clearance. If there's not enough clearance, if you push down on the alternator, try to pull that paper out and it sticks, uh, then you're gonna have to use these spacers, potentially. There's enough to put two spacers under each pad right here. Um, there's three mount bolt holes on here, uh, so there's six spacers, enough for two. Um, if, if it is hitting in the center, now some of the cradles are deep enough. It's really, really close on, on these things. So that's why you want to do this installation check and watch this warning very carefully. Like I said, you start with one washer. Uh, if it hits, you start with one washer and try it again. If it's clear, then you just have to use one washer. If it still continues to hit or have interference in this area, then you want to use two washers. Never had it go over two washers. And, uh, but I do want to show you the results of not paying attention to these instructions. What I've got here, this was a, a unit recently sent back to us by a Tony Jenkins. Uh, he installed it on his vehicle and wrote and complained that he got the alternator and it's making all kinds of noise and not charging properly. And what I found out, once we got it back, and uh, of course we got it back and we tested it and it worked beautiful. Uh, so we took it apart and what I found, and of course I talked to him on the telephone and I asked him, did you use the washers in the instruction to raise the alternator up a little bit? And he says, no I didn't do it, it didn't need it. And as soon as he said no I didn't do it, it didn't need it, and it's making noise, we can pretty much add up to what it is. Uh, this rotor runs inside of the stator. And there's very, very little t clearance inside here. Just a few thousandths of an inch clearance between the rotor and the stator. It's got to be lined up just right or you'll run into trouble. So what happened is when he bolted this alternator down, uh, the center, like I showed in the instructions, was hitting. And you can just barely see it right here if I get there, right, right in this area. You see the little bit of shiny metal on that stator? That's where the rotor was rubbing. And you can see it on this rotor here too. You see the scuff marks on its scuff marks on this rotor where it's been rubbing. So this one's not too bad, but that's uh, what you have to look out for these alternators. Um, we do some top quality. These these large case units that we offer are really good units. Uh, these are built in the USA. They're a top quality. You can't get the large case unit uh, on these 99 and up uh, Ford trucks. All you get is a the one tam. We sell these outright, no core charge. They're very, very good units. 
but the only thing is when you get the unit you have to pay attention now I've had people instead of using the washers they actually got into the cradle and used their Dremel and right in the center where the interference I've had a few people who are really sharp on it and they ground out the cradle with a Dremel type drill uh, to to make clearance for that unit and they're sure to do it but if you don't want to go go through that bother then you use those spacers look out if uh, when you're done the instructions even say to give the alternator a spin to make sure it's turning freely because if it's not turning freely after you get installed before you put your belt on it means you've got a you've got a, a distorted alternator and you're going to destroy that thing so these are top quality units. I'm going to put a link in the description below directly to this 6G unit. It's a very good unit. It starts out at 140 amps where the small case unit is 110 amps. That's it. So we've got one that starts out a heavy duty 140 amp. Uh, we have a, a 160 amp. We have a 200 amp and we have a 250 amp in the dual rectifier version but I'll, I'll put a link in the description below directly to the 6G page so you can take a look at those alternators. Uh, I appreciate any business you can send our way and just be sure to to watch out for this thing so you don't bind this alternator so you don't get this all distorted and destroyed because we put a lot in these alternators and I just hate to see them get ruined by somebody not installing it correctly so take a look and if you got any questions just give me a call